Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we're going to have a look at how to use the memories on this uh, Casio calculator. So the really important button is the store and recall button. So let's just key something in to start with. It can be anything at all, just something that results in a number and, and we'll store it. So we'll start by using um, memory A. So first of all, let's just key in some something mathematical looking. So it could be anything at all. So I've chosen to put something um, in that involves a bit of trigonometry. So 3.5 cos 70. And then you don't have to, but if you want to, you can type equals next. And then you can do the storing. So the store is in yellow, so we need the shift button. And you can see that now at the top of the calculator, we've got STO. So it's showing that we are ready to store in one of the memories. And if we choose memory A, then it's stored in memory A. And then we can do another calculation. So let's have, um, so this time we've got 4.7 sine 11. And just to show that you don't need to do the equals, this time we'll just directly store this. So shift and store. And this time we'll go for memory B. So you can see that we've still got the answer to the calculation and we've shown that we've stored the answer in memory B. So if you know you want to store something in a the memory, there's no need to do the equals before the storing. Okay, so we've got something in memory A and something in memory B. So now we can do something with those numbers. And we'll find the square root of A squared plus B squared. So we've got the square root, now I want to get the A. So now, because I want to access A, I'm going to go for the alpha button and then A, and then I want to square it. And then I'm going to add B squared. So alpha, B, and then, then X squared. And if I wanted to, I could store that somewhere or other. Let's just get the answer first and let's store that. So we're going to be doing shift store and we'll store that in memory C. So we've now got things in memories A, B and C. So let's just check what we've got in memory A. So if we want to do that, we just do recall and A and there's memory A. If we want to find out what's in B, recall B and similarly recall C. And let's just see what happens if we do D. And the default is that the um, is that each memory would have zero in it. What else should we do? You, you can do anything with A, B and C now that they've got um, values in them. We could, for example, just work out A times B. So you don't need to key in the times, just A, B, and that will give you that number there. And it could be useful to clear the memories, although if you wanted to put something else in memory A, so let's say, for example, we wanted to store two in memory A, we've still got whatever we had in memory B, whatever we had in memory C, but in memory A, you've now got two. So you can just overwrite what's there. But if you want to tidy up and clear what's in all your memories, you would do shift, clear and then we want to get rid of what's in all the memories so we go for two and then yes and then press the ac key and now when we have a look at what's in uh, our memories so recall a and so on everything's got zero in it now what else do we want to do oh yes there is a very special memory so we've got loads of memories here a b c d e f x y and m and the last one you can see is unusual because the key that's got the M on it has also got M plus and M minus. So let's do something really, uh, really simple here. Let's just put three in memory M. So we've put three in memory M and let's now add something to it. So we've got one there. So if I just key on M plus, that will add one to mem memory M. So I put three in, so now it's added one to it. So if we now have a look at what's in 
memory M, recall M, and it's got four in it. Similarly, we could subtract something. So let's say we want to subtract nine. If we do shift, because we want M minus, that will take nine away from our memory. So this time when we recall memory M, it's got minus five. So you can use that key over and over again to add or subtract from your memory, but that's the only button that you can do that with. All the others, or that's the only memory that you can do that with. All the others, you can just store numbers in them.